Hi everybody, Jamie the Board Game Man here, and today we're going to look at a game from Ravensburger, which is one of my favorite board game companies. This game was made back in 1988, two to four players, ages six to adult. It is called Up the River, Race to the Harbor. And in this game, what you're trying to do is you're trying to get your sailboats, which each player has three of them, up to the harbor the fastest. The faster you get up here, the more points you get. But watch out for the sandbar. If you hit a sandbar, it stops your sailboat dead in the water. If you land on a wave, it actually pushes your boat forward. And there's also a special mark on the dice where you can either push one of your boats further up or you can mess with your opponent and pull one of his boats back. And if you don't get your boats from the bottom, then they can fall over the waterfall and you lose them in the game. So it's a fun little game. But let me just go over to the gamer's table. And I'll show you how to play Up the River, Race to the Harbor. Okay, everybody, here we are at the gamer's table. Let me go ahead and go over the components of the game. And I'll show you how to play the game. It's actually very, very quick and easy. Uh, here's the instruction booklet up the river. And uh, it's a pretty easy instruction booklet. Just like that. Piece of cake. Then you also have your sailboats. And you can, like I said in the intro, each player has three sailboats to contend with. Uh, blue, green, red, and yellow. You also have these tiles. There's ten of these tiles. Each one, you, you put them together. And what they do is they recommend that you do the same order that's on the bottom of the box. So you can see on the very bottom of the box, they show you this is how the game should start. And you see it's exactly the way I have it set up. Okay. Here and then you have the harbor. And this is where you're going to try to park all your boats. And obviously the first person to get their sailboat to the harbor will get 12 points. Second will be 11 points. Third will be 10 points and so on. So you kind of get the gist of it. Okay, and you have the die. The die, it's a standard one to six almost. It has one to five on here, but then you have the arrows, and that's why I mentioned the intro as well, which I'll show you how that works. You can actually change the tide, good for you or not good for your opponent. So let's go ahead and show you how to play. So first and foremost, we'll do go ahead and do a quick little three player, and I'll show you how this works. You're going to start on the tile from the fourth highest from the bottom. So what we'll do is we'll put all the blues here. We'll do the blue player. So you're going to set all three of your sailboats here. Okay. Then we'll do green since it's right next to it. And we'll do red. So we'll do a three-player game. And that's how you're going to start. The fourth one up from the bottom. We'll put these yellow sailboats away. So don't lose them. And let's go ahead and start the game. So what you're going to do is you're going to roll the die, and whatever number shows up, that's the number of spaces you're going to move up. Now, you have, let me show you a couple of these. There's only two of these that come into play. All the rest of these, you can just kind of go on. The sandbar. If you land on the sandbar, this will automatically stop your boat. So say it's up here, and say your boat is right here, and you roll a two, the, hard, the farther you can go is right here. So that, that stops you no matter what your roll is. If you roll beyond it or right on it, it'll automatically stop your boat however you're going. Okay? Whatever you roll. Then you also have the waves card. This is the tide coming in. And if you land on this exactly, then you get to push your boat three spaces up. So it's really good. Now, it's only if you land on it directly. Exactly. Um, if you roll over it, then nothing happens. But if you land directly on it, then you go one, two, three, and you get to move three. So the first player will roll their die. And it is a four. So blue is going to move four spaces. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now green. Now you, you move one boat at a time. So you can't go one, two, and one, two. You have to move one boat per turn. Okay. All right, now the green's going to go. Green's going to go, and they, green rolls a three. So green is going to go one, two, three. Okay. Now red's going to go, and red rolls a four. One, two, three, four. Now, 
we're back to player one. When it goes back to player one, he's going to take the tile from the bottom and place it on the top. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this, we're going to slide it down a little bit, and now the sandbar is at the very top. Okay? And now it goes back to the first player's turn. So blue's going to roll, and blue rolls an arrow. So when this happens, what you're allowed to do is you can either move one of these boats to one of your higher up boats. So say for instance, these two are in the same spot. So actually one of these would move up to here. You can do that if you want. Or you can send one of your opponent's boats to the next lowest boat. So say in this case, it would be here. Now let me show you an example how this works. Say green had a boat here and a boat here. And he rolls the arrow, okay? He can either choose to move this boat up to here, or he can move his back boat up to here. Okay, so that's how that works, if you have them on separate rows, okay? That's how that works. And then same with, if I were to say, if blue, blue rolled that, he goes, oh, I wanna, I wanna knock the green boat back. Then what you can do is you can either knock this boat back to here, or knock this boat back to the next aisle that the boat is on. So that's how the arrow works. So say, so the blue just rolled this, the arrow. So he can decide, I'm gonna go ahead and move this boat up to here. And that would be his move, okay? Then green would go, green rolls a five. He can either move this one all the way up, but remember he's gonna stop at the sandbar. So, or he can just move one of these up five. So let's just say, he wants to move this up five. One, two, three, four. He can't move it five because the sand, the, uh, the sand is there, so he has to stop the sandbar. So now it's red's turn. Red's gonna roll. Red rolls a one, so he can either move this up one or he can move this up one, which would be a very good thing to do. So red's gonna go ahead and move one, and then since he landed on the wave exactly, he gets to move up three spaces. One, two, and three, right up to that next boat. So that's a perfect job for them. Now it's back to player one. So what do we do? We're gonna bring this bottom one up, slide this down, and put this at the top. All right. Now what you gotta do is you gotta be careful with these boats down here because now they only have one more tile behind it. So say we went through the whole, the whole thing, say you know green moved up two, red moved up three, that kind of thing, and blue moved, decided to move this one up, okay? On their, on their turns. Now say this one moved down this way, this goes up top. Now two of these boats are in danger of going over the waterfall because if there's any boats on the very last tile and the first player comes back again and takes this away, these two boats that are on that last tile get flushed down the waterfall and they are out of the game, just like that. So now you only have two boats to score up at the harbor so you got to make sure you don't want to pay attention to all the boats that you're coming up here you got to bring up the rear as well just to make sure otherwise they will fall off the waterfall and uh, what happens here is say blue we're to roll a four here well he'd have to stop immediately at the sandbar you can't go past that green can now go past the sandbar because he's already stopped at the sandbar already so say he rolls a one he can roll one here and so on and then red can roll one and move and so on if the green, say, let's say blue rolls, let's just say blue rolls a three. There you go. Rolls a three. He can go one, two, three. He makes it first to the harbor, and he's going to go ahead and set it on in front of the 12. So, for instance, he gets, let me show you this up closer. There you go. And just like that, you see he will get 12 points for making it first. Then let's say green comes up and scores this. He goes into 11. You do not have to have an exact roll to finish. So say this boat is here and you roll a, you know, a two, three, four, or five, you can just go right up top. So you do not have to roll an exact roll to make it to the harbor. As long as that, stance, that sandbar doesn't stop you. And that's pretty much the gist of the game. Every time it goes to the first player, you take that bottom one, bring it up to the top and so on. And, uh, and that's pretty, and you have to manage all three of your boats up the river, making sure they don't fall off the end of the waterfall. And it's always good to land on the current because if you land on this, like I said, 
you move up three spaces, which is actually really good once you make it up here, or when it gets to be like maybe two or three spots up to the top, then you land on that, you automatically finish. So that's the cool part. And what you do at the end of the game, what you'll do is say all the boats come over here and they finish, and so on. We'll, we'll add these there too. You'll add up all your points for all the colored boats, and whoever has the most points wins the game. And that, my friends, is Up the River, Race to the Harbor.